So here on the left, it's using a 3D printed spring that allows it to bounce back. And on the right, it's using a metal spring. So popping this out, you can see the tiny little spring there made of plastic. Spring has a nub. So as a lever pushes against it, it's able to spring back. There's a contact pad on the lever itself. And so when the lever arm gets pushed down, that connects two contact pads here on the bottom. So here's the inside of a metal spring version. I cut this from a larger spring that came out of a pen. And this rod is just cut from the filament roll, poked through and then pressed in. When applying force, it tends to pry it off. And so I have a double sided adhesive in order to reduce that from happening. For the metal spring, it's less likely to pry off since it requires a lot less force. With tripwire hooks, you have to limit the way the string is pulled to pulling downward. And in order to do that, I'm using the thumbtacks. And so it restricts it to slightly moving downward. The threshold of activation can be manipulated by moving this hook here. And so by moving it downward, it increases the threshold. And by moving it up, it reduces the threshold. And here the threshold has been reduced down to just pressing down on the string. So despite being built different, they can have the same threshold just by being tuned. For the actual redstone dust, it's just simple LED. And so when the lever closes, it allows the current to flow through the LED. So that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, as always, please let me know. And thank you for watching.